Hi everyone, I'm Sincere Gonzalez. I'm a real estate agent here in Port St. Lucie, Florida. And today I wanted to make this video to update my previous video, which was called Five Reasons to Consider Moving to Port St. Lucie. And I wanted to just kind of uh, have better audio and better information for you. Um, so I have some notes here on my iPad and I'm gonna kind of read off of that. Um, so, should you become a Floridian? Well, today is February 3rd, so we're in the middle of winter, and as you can see, it's just, it's a perfect day. Um, I love living in Florida. I was born in Cuba and uh, lived in Miami for 25 years, and now I've been here in Port St. Lucie since 2003, and I have to say that um, the only encounters I've ever had with snow has been a couple times visiting New York City and Tennessee and North Carolina and I have to say it's uh, it's kind of it's 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 different it's definitely different I don't think I could do it and I just really appreciate living in Florida every single day I wake up that it's not raining I really appreciate living here in Florida so should you consider living in Florida I mean it's beautiful it's good for your health it's good for your well-being just to be here in the sunshine and the warmth it's not miserable you don't have to shovel snow it's really nice I, I love living here and most people that live in Florida love living in Florida so it's something that you should experience at least for a period of time in your life um, if you're living up north or somewhere that gets gloomy and snowy and sad so <clears throat> five reasons to consider moving to Port St. Lucie. My first reason in the previous video was of course sunshine and <clears throat> I was in Miami most of my life and uh, I really needed to come to a place where there was plenty of sunshine. You know sunshine is good for your mood, it's good, it, it heals mild depression. I mean it gives you vitamin D, it just it makes you happy when it when it's a beautiful day like this it just it makes you want to get out of bed and do stuff and and it's really good for you so I mean here in Port St. Lucie we're on the east coast of Florida and it is most days are most days are beautiful like this yeah I know in the summer <clears throat> it gets a little hot and humid but it's something that you kind of just get used to and and you know when you're hot you go inside and you go in in your car with the air conditioning and and you go in the grocery store everywhere there's air conditioning so you really kind of learn to avoid the heat in the summer um, but most days like this you can just have your windows open and uh, let the cool air circle through your home I believe today is like 69 degrees or something like that it's just perfect <clears throat> um, so the second reason that I had mentioned Port St. Lucie is a great place to live is because we have really pretty beaches. In Miami, um, when you go to the beach, most a lot of places you have to pay for parking and you have to pay sometimes to go inside the beach and, and, it, and it's a beautiful place but it's really crowded and here it's not like that. Um, the beaches are really pretty and they're not crowded and it's I mean it's just it's just really nice living here I'm gonna um, include some pictures of some of my favorite beaches here locally so that you can see what I'm talking about okay so some of the favorite beaches are like Jensen Beach Pepper Park Fletcher Beach and the South Beach Jetty that one is just so pretty that one you do have to pay six dollars per car to come inside but it's really pretty especially around sunset time it's really nice and they have food trucks out there um, so it's kind of a cool place to hang out um, I like it I, I really like the beaches here if you like beaches this is definitely gonna be a place for you so also Port St. Lucie number three was golf and fishing like I said before I don't golf and I don't fish however um, golf is a really big deal here uh, so PGA Village is a huge neighborhood. It's a huge gated area and it's all like, it's all golf. There, all the neighborhoods are, there's golf courses in between the neighborhoods and um, a lot of people come here seasonally just to play in these courses because it's a uh, PGA America courses. And um, so yeah, go golf is kind of a big deal here and so is fishing. Fishing is out of the, 
well, there's like several marinas, but like the Stewart, I think it's called the Sailfish Marina. That's a really nice marina, and there's a lot of people that go out there with their boats on the weekend, and there's a sandbar where you park your boat, and everybody's parked on the sandbar, and it's really fun. And there's a lot of sailing, and a lot of, um, just a lot of fishing. It's a, it's a big thing here. If you like fishing, you're definitely gonna enjoy living here. Um, one of my favorite reasons is the location. The reason I came here was because I wanted to be close to Miami, but I wanted to mm, have better opportunities for buying a house. So I'm still only an hour and 45 minutes away from Miami. You get on I-95, which is like two minutes away from here, and you drive an hour and 45 minutes south and you're in Miami. And then that gives you access to the Miami International Airport to catch cheap flights to wherever, and the Miami Cruise Terminal. So you get cheap cruises because you live here. So, you know, you just go and you park your car and you're there, you're on the ship. And, and, and it, I mean, it's really good. Also, um, and we're like 45 minutes away from the PBI International, the Palm Beach International Airport. That's a great, quiet airport where you can still get great airfare and it's just so comfortable you just drive up and, and you know you park your car I usually park my car like at one of the nearby hotels that they have a service where you can park your car for for a lot cheaper than if you were to park inside the airport they drop you off at the airport and you're off on your flight and ready to go um, so location all right so we're also like three hours away from St. Augustine. There's a lot of places that you can go have like a weekend getaway from Port St. Lucie. So if you drive three hours north, you're in St. Augustine and that's really fun to go for the weekend. You can rent, you know, either in the little town or you can rent right 15 minutes from the town on the beach. And it's really fun and it's great to just like drive three hours back in your home, ready to go for the, for the, the week. There's also Sanibel Island, so if you drive west from here, three hours west from here, you're going to be in Sanibel Island, which is a beautiful little getaway. It's just a great place to go for the weekend. There's a lot of good places to eat there, and it's like really quiet and quaint, and you go shelling on the beach. If you drive, okay, so the Kennedy Space Center. The Kennedy Space Center is one of my favorite things because you get on the highway going north and like in an hour and a half more or less maybe a little bit less than that you are at the kennedy space center and it's so cool because um whenever there's a rocket launch you can actually see it from here from port st lucie if you look north east northeast you can see a launch on a clear day and that's like really cool there's a launch coming up on february 7th and there's actually launches like almost every two weeks or more often than that now. There's uh, launches all the time. If you um, register on the Kennedy Space Center website, they'll send you alerts whenever the launch is going to happen and you can just go outside and look at it. You can see it from here. It's far, but you can still see the plume and you can see the, the ball of fire going up. It's really exciting and, and cool. I love that. Um, like last month, it was a nighttime launch and we actually drove up to that Kennedy Space Center area so we got there a little bit late but we still saw it from the highway and it was huge and it was beautiful and uh, I mean I just love living close to that it was really really nice so another thing is like the Fort Lauderdale Airport it's even closer than Miami so I think that you get there in like an hour and a half you drive there and that's a major airport that you can um, take a flight from it's just a lot of airport oh also Disney so if you drive an hour and 30 minutes west of here you're in Disney World and you know there's all the Disney parks and all the restaurants and entertainment there's just a lot of fun stuff to do right from here from Port St. Lucie so you can live here in Port St. Lucie and take advantage of the great beaches and the great home prices and the great location and have all these great weekend getaways that you can go to um, all, in all different directions. I mean, if you're interested in things like the Everglades, that's like close to Miami. So, you know, you drive to Miami an hour and a half and there you are. You can have like a, make a day of it, go on your Everglade tour. And I mean, it's just a lot of cool things. I enjoy living here. <clears throat> I really enjoy the location and I carefully, carefully selected a location when I left Miami. 
in 2003 and I am very happy that this is the place that we chose all right and so my final reason for having Port St. Lucie be one of the best places to live in Florida is because of home prices home prices was actually the biggest reason and me you know of course I'm a realtor so that's really important home prices was very important to me what I could afford in Miami in 2003 was very very bad it was um like a torn up little house a thousand square feet that needed everything done like it was from 1935 that's the kind of house that we could afford in Miami so when we came here to Port St. Lucie we built a house that was twice the size and it was brand new built to you know our customization and I mean it's just a world of a difference for for that that distance it's a world of a difference what you can get with your home prices and even today almost 20 years later well yeah almost 20 years later it's still a thing you go to Miami and you want to buy a starter home and you're gonna spend four hundred thousand dollars and you're gonna to need to do a lot of work to that house you come here in Port St. Lucie and you with four hundred thousand dollars you could really buy like a, a beautiful just gorgeous top-of-the-line brand new home with a pool and everything and you don't even need to spend four hundred thousand dollars to get a great home in Port St. Lucie there's some really nice houses that you can get for in the two hundred and fifty thousand dollar range of course if you're willing to spend a little more you're gonna get like a significantly better home but you can even even I mean get a pretty decent home in the 180 range you know um, and then there's like there's things that are a little cheaper like townhomes and apartments that are like in the 150s but you there's a lot you can get a lot for your money living here in Port St. Lucie and before I go I just wanted to mention some of my favorite restaurants in the area because I mean there's there's some good restaurants here I really like Mission Barbecue that's like a quick service kind of place but it's really really good in St. Lucie West oh and by the way I'm gonna make a video explaining the difference between Port St. Lucie and St. Lucie West because a lot of people ask me that if they're not from the area they want to know what the difference is and there is a big difference and I'll explain that in my next video okay um, okay so other restaurants like uh, Tavola Pizza is a little mom-and-pop shop and they have really good pizza their beach barbecue pizza is very delicious um, I love Sushi Naya. Sushi Naya is a great restaurant. I'm gonna leave the links for all these restaurants down below for you, okay? Uh, sushi Naya has a like, really good pad thai and really good sushi rolls. They have one called the Miami Roll, and it's really, really yummy. And I love going to Benihana. Benihana is actually in store technically, um, but it's really good. And if you go there for lunch, it's like you get the same thing you get for dinner for like anywhere between 10 and 14 dollars so if you go for lunch it's a really good deal you just have to get there before 2 30 and ask for the lunch menu and so yeah i mean look at this day it's just it's just it's just glorious i love living in florida and i think out of all the towns in 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 florida um I did my research before I came here and I really really love Port St. Lucie I think that you will too if you're looking for like gated communities there's a lot of great gated communities like Magnolia Lakes Country Club Estates Lake Forest PGA Village PGA Village is a little bit more high-end um, but they're really beautiful houses and there's um, Lake Charles there's just a lot of gorgeous gated communities and they're very reasonable then there's the, the whole tradition area tradition has some beautiful beautiful homes and some really huge homes over there like four or five thousand square feet and and really the prices are unbelievable you can get like a huge huge house for like under four hundred thousand dollars which is pretty spectacular um let's see what else can i say yeah i mean i just love living here i'm a real estate agent like i said my name is sincere gonzalez i'll leave my information down below in case you have any questions about this area i am happy to answer those questions for you and of course i'd be more than happy to work with you in finding your dream florida paradise home okay so if you have any questions call me at 772 200 9112 
please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel as I will be posting a lot of videos about real estate, about everything that has to do with Florida and this beautiful area of the world. So hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you can see all of the future videos. And, um, you know, comment down below. Let me know. Have you ever been to Port St. Lucie? What do you think about it? I love this place, and I think you will too. Have a wonderful day.